Hello. Hello, Lolly. Have you opened the beach yet, Lolly? After all that digging, we need an ice cream. I want to, but I can't. Oh, dear. I just had my morning swim, but when I got out of the sea, I couldn't find the keys to the beach shack. They're lost. I'm sure I left them on the beach. So, does that mean you can't open the beach shack? That's right. So nobody on the beach can get a hat or sunglasses or have a drink or an ice cream. That's terrible! <gasps> That's a catastrophe! That's awful! No ice cream! That's nearly as bad as no socks! Anyway, I heard somebody say they liked digging. Me! 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 I love digging! So I thought maybe... Don't worry, we'll find your keys. Yes! What are we waiting for, team? Let's get digging! <laughs> <laughs> Socks. <sighs> no keys. What am I going to do? I don't know. I do. Look. Hooray! Sim and Sam and Zuma here. Oh, great. They'll help us. Hello! Woohoo! Surf's up! Hello, everyone. What are you up to? I lost my keys to the beach shack. Oh, dear. Any luck? I did find a brilliant sock! Look! Hmm. Uh, socks are made of wool, not metal. <laughs> what do you mean, Zim? Keys are made out of iron or steel. If we're going to find the keys in the sand, we need something that only digs up metal. But what kind of thing does that? A magnet. Magnets attract metal. What does that mean? Zoom, your assistance, please. A magnet pulls metal towards it. So if we had a magnet, we could run all over the beach. And the keys would be pulled towards it and pop out of the sand. Yes. It would have to be a giant magnet so that we could search the whole beach. I know just where we can get one. All aboard, everyone! <laughs> Welcome to Magnetozone, everybody! <gasps> oh, roller coaster! Must go on roller coaster. Messi, remember, we're here to get a magnet so we can find Lolly's keys. No, Lolly, we'll go this way. You lot, go that way. Oh, please, can we stop here? Please, 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 please. Oh, this looks fun. What do we do? It's easy, Messi. Just hold the fishing rod over the fish. You got one! How did you do that? There's a magnet on the end of the line, and the fish is made out of metal. Ah, Oops! Well, that definitely works. You see, when the magnet gets close, it pulls the fish out of the water. Whoa. Ha, I got one too! And so have I! We'll be able to track where you are on your communicator, Zoe, so keep it switched on. Got it! Come on, Zoe and Felix. Let's go and look for worms. I can't see any worms. This soil doesn't look very healthy. No wonder the mare's vegetables are really small. Look, a worm. Let's follow it. Oh, this soil looks much better. Maybe we'll find worms here. Wow! Look at all the worms! Worm, worm, worm. Wow, worm, and look at all worm, the tunnels they've made worm, in the soil. Worm, just like worm, in Zim's wormery. Worm, 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 worm. I think we should find out where we are. Good idea. Can you take us to the surface, please, Messi? Okie go! Zoe, 
I'm tracking where you are now. Oh, oh, you're just next door. Hold on, stay there. Zoe, Felix, I can see you, and I'm going to resize you. <laughs> Is that working out for you? <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, thanks, Sam. How was your adventure underground? Well, we couldn't see anything at first, but then we saw lots of worms. And the soil looked much healthier under this garden. Wow, this garden is amazing. Look at the vegetables. They are so big. The soil looks really healthy up here, too. Oh, ah. oh Mr. Mayor. Oh, uh, hello, Lolly. What's going on? We were looking for worms underground and we ended up in your garden. Well, you've come to the right place. My compost heap is full of worms. It's like the mega mess in my garden back home. It might look like a mess, but it's not. It's a compost heap. I pile up the compost heap with leftover food and leaves and cuttings from the garden. The worms turn the leftovers into this stuff called mulch. I put the mulch on the ground under my plants. Mulch is full of goodness that helps plants grow. Could we take some mulch for the mayor's garden, please? Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I'm sure there's no need for that. Of course. Take as much as you need. Anything for my favourite mare. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome to the technology lab. Hey, there's that funny band. Hmm, you've seen them too, Messy. What is this room, Sam? This is where we check that all the TV, radio, internet and phone calls in Okido are working properly. They were this morning. But now they're not. Exactly. See what happens if I phone for a pizza. Hello. I'd like to order a double crust pepperoni with. Aliens. Aliens. Somehow our okido signals have got mixed up with alien signals. Signals? What do you mean? Pictures and sound can't be sent through the air. They have to be turned into electrical signals first. When the signals reach your TV or radio or phone, they turn back into sound and pictures again. Hmm. I've never seen any signals. That's because they're invisible. But if you put these special signalizer glasses on, now you can see the signals through the special glasses. Whoa! Look out! They're everywhere! Don't worry, Messy. They don't hurt. See? They're in the cables. And in the air, going to your comms device soon. Wow! <laughs> and often, they're beamed into space by a dish like this. You see? Or transmitters, like this. All the way up to a satellite. Hmm. What's a satellite? It's like a little spaceship that stays up in space. It catches the signals and bounces them back down to Okido. That's how the signals travel around to all the different places. So what's gone wrong today? Have the cables got all mixed up? No, we checked those. But maybe the transmitters are broken. No, we checked those too. So, so it, it must be... be... Yes, the satellite. How do we fix it? We have to go up there now in the rocket! Hooray! Everybody ready? Ready! ready. Yeah! Countdown commencing! Ten! Nine! Ooh! A button! Eight. A red button! Seven. Oh! Let's not press that Six. quite yet! Mm, red Five. button! Four. Messy, Three. not yet. Can't Two. stop myself. One. Lift off. The satellite should be straight ahead. Watch out for space junk. 
What's space junk? Pieces that have broken off other satellites and spaceships. Ah! Ah! <laughs> this is an X-ray machine. Wow! How does it work? It's a little bit like a camera, but it takes a photo of your insides instead of your outsides. If you please zoom. The invisible X-rays travel out of the machine, then through your body. When they hit the film, it makes a picture of what you look like on the inside. <gasps> oh, can you take a picture of my insides? Please, oh please, oh please, oh please, oh please, oh please! Okay, but you have to keep still, or the picture will be blurry. Now, here we go. There, you're all done. Wow! Look at my insides! The white parts are your bones. They make up your skeleton, which supports your body, helps you stand up straight and move around. Cool! Oh, what's that pointy bit? That's your elbow bone. It's called the humerus, but most people call it the funny bone. <laughs> Does everyone have a skeleton? Uh, you and Zoe have a skeleton like Messi's, but some animals have their skeletons on the outside, like this grasshopper here. And some animals have no skeletons at all, like this jellyfish. <laughs> it's all wibbly and wobbly. Um, when's it my turn to be x-rayed? Oops, sorry. We got carried away with the science for a minute. Lofty, please can you hold your sore finger in front of the X-ray machine? Right. Now we need to compare it to one of your good fingers. This is the X-ray of the sore finger, and this is the good finger. Can you see any difference? <gasps> Lofty's finger is broken! No wonder it's sore! That's right, but don't you worry. We can help to fix it. Oh, thank you. You're the best friends a giant could have. Oh, it's a very, very big finger. We're going to need a lot of glue. I don't think we'll use glue, Messy. <laughs> First, we need to set the bones. That means they have to be in exactly the right place so they can mend back together. We're going to need your help. We need you to set the bones from the inside. We'll stay out here with the X-ray to make sure they set nice and straight. OK, let's go! <laughs> Open wide, Lofty! <laughs> When you get to the heart, you'll hear it before you see it. Oh, I think that's the heart, Zoe. OK, let's go left. Follow the bones all the way down Lofty's arm until you get to his fingers. Look, there's the broken bone. What do we do now, Sam? You need to very carefully and very gently nudge the bone into position so it looks nice and straight, just like Lofty's good finger did on the X-ray. Oh, got it! Well done, Zoe. The X-ray is showing that it looks perfectly straight. Now let's okey-go! Okay 